Our beloved verb, Google it, can really sabotage engagement and innovation on a team if it's used as a response to what might be called a dumb question. How so? Well, in this video, I'm going to share three different ways that it sabotages engagement and innovation and the antidote to each of those. And then I'm going to share a couple of examples of my own. So I have worked with leaders and their teams for three decades, encouraging engagement and productive outcomes and innovation. And so I'm always encouraging a great exchange of ideas. The first thing that happens when you say Google it as a response to a dumb question is you cut off exploration of anything else. A question is usually not one question. You want to know where did that question come from? And that's where things become really rich. And so asking the question, what causes you to ask that question, or how is that relevant, what's prompted this, really allows for more engagement to really dig down into some other ideas. So you always want to be mining each other's minds for what you're thinking. So just cutting it off to say, Google it, that's a dumb idea, sabotages that. The second thing that happens is that you may inadvertently silence and discourage people from engaging with you and to ask questions. And you do not want to do that. You want to hear what people are thinking, what they're wondering. And I actually even encourage leaders to ask their team members, what are we doing that's dumb? And the great thing about that is when you say that, that says we probably are doing dumb things and I want to know what they are. <laughs> and I'm giving you permission to do that. So you always want to be encouraging people to be asking those questions. And that's where the richness comes from being on a team. Third thing is you are making your team less relevant in the world when you say that. Because in this time where AI is getting better and better and better, you better want to be having great conversation, great engagement with your team members, because that is where ideas come from, is bouncing those ideas back off and forth with each other. And it doesn't matter your personality, you want to bring out the best in every person you've got on that team, because that is what gives you the competitive edge. So don't run to Google it. And I'm not saying I Google things all the time, but I'm saying when it's a response to a question, watch out. I promised you a couple examples. So one is fairly recent. I joined a paid for learning community to learn about a topic that I don't know much about so I could get better at what that's about. And I asked a question in that community that I know I could have Googled. But I asked the question anyway because I wanted more than a Google answer. I wanted exchange. I wanted experience. And so when I asked the question, there was one woman who actually told me I could have Googled it. And of course, I knew that. But I've paid for this community. And so she, she put three different Googles down that I, that I could have done. But where the richness came in was what other people said because other people had experiences that you're not going to necessarily find in a Google search. And then other people ask questions that were relevant and tangential to that first question. And there was a real richness that came through in that dialogue where we all learned more, better, and deeper. And I really appreciated that exchange. And so how can that work in your work environment? The other place, if you're a parent, we all want our kids to be self-sufficient and find answers for themselves. I have two young adult daughters. Sometimes they will ask me a question, and I know I could say Google it, and I don't because I want to have the richness of the communication and the dialogue and the exploration and really extrapolate those conversations into something that's more than just answering a question. I'm not saying Google's bad, I use it all the time, but when you're thinking in terms of your engagement on your team, pause before you go to Google it. And even if it's for yourself, asking those questions that may be perceived as dumb are really important. 
I would love your comments in the comment area. And until next time, I appreciate you being here. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.